Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today we're going on a little bit of an adventure north of the city of Winchester along the Itchin River. This is quite a historical little spot. Winchester is one of the oldest cities in the south of England and leading to it is the River Itchin and that was expanded I think in the 1600s or something like that to form the Itchin Navigation. It was used basically to transport goods from Southampton Water all the way up into the city of Winchester. Now the River Itchin extends beyond Winchester and there's a lot of different nature walks on the way up there and I woke up this morning just feeling like I'm gonna take a little adventure, it's a beautiful day. Bring the Osmo Pocket 3 with me and let's just have a little stroll and enjoy the nature. And I'll maybe feed you some facts that were fed to me by ChatGPT along the way. <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken, you can pretty much walk this whole path to the source of the river. And the River Itchin is quite unique because it comes through a chalk bed, which makes the water super, super clear. And I think it has quite a diverse array of nature and species that hang around these waterways. We're actually about to come up to some more water meadows, which is just like a big natural swampy area, but full of nature. I've even heard there's salmon in these rivers. And it's absolutely stunning. This is part of the Itchin, and then there's another main part over here. It kind of splits in this water meadow into all different parts. But normally this part is actually way more open and flowing, but nature is just going nuts right now. As we go further, they'll all kind of join back up again to a main river and you'll get a chance to see how spectacularly clear the water is. But it doesn't take long to get away from everything and which is why I think Winchester is one of the most beautiful cities in England. It's like an hour on the train to London. So you have access to one of the world's most famous, most popular cities. And then of course you have access to this beautiful nature as well. Beautiful. And fortunately, there's a highway behind that ridge. It's like one of the biggest highways in the UK that leads to London. And the beautiful sound of nature is slightly drowned out, which is not ideal. They built it whenever I was a kid and it had to cut through loads of nature, but it made a direct route between the city of Southampton to London. Pretty essential route, but it definitely came at a cost like most infrastructure programs. As you can see, there never ceases to be mud here in the UK or rain. I almost thought, you know, it's been so good here, so dry, probably not gonna need to bring hiking boots, but it's definitely not the case. You always gotta be prepared for the wet here in England. I guess that is what makes for this beautiful greenery at this time of year. You need it, otherwise it would be just dry and brown. Oh, this part is always the sketchy part. This always freaks me out. So vulnerable when you're in a tunnel in the middle of nowhere. Look at this one. Pretty impressive tunnel, actually. so peaceful out here. Coming up to a nice little church. I think there's a pub up here as well. Maybe we'll stop on the way back. Of course, it's a Sunday, so people will be in there praying. For those of you that haven't been to the UK, in the countryside, this is actually pretty common. I guess probably getting less common as the years go by, but thatched houses, they're really, really beautiful. And I believe it's a great way of insulating your building from the cold. And it looks like the thatching on this house is getting a bit old. I don't know how long it lasts. Be interested to know how much it costs as well. So this village is the village of Kingsworthy. And look at this building right here. One thing that you don't pick up from this video is the smell of that wisteria it is the most beautiful sweet smell and wisteria only lasts i don't know about a month maybe not super long do we cross over dual carriageway a uh, dual carriageway and then back into the forest the one thing about filming with all this stuff 
is it's so hard not to look like well, it's impossible to not look like a plonker. Well, that was interesting. I just chatted to a local guy that's lived here for 50 years. He was telling me they take samples from this river occasionally, and apparently there's E. coli present from all of the crap that's leaching into the water from the fields, which is not good. So it's clear, but it's uh, a little bit poisoned, which is not good. In front of me, the building was a corn mill back in the day, and this was a major route. Obviously, the Itchen was a route to the south, and then also this walkway was a pilgrimage route between here and Canterbury many, 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 many years ago. So I don't think we're going to walk to Canterbury, but maybe we could in the future. I don't think you'll find a more peaceful place. Oh, wow, this is spectacular. It's funny because I've traveled all around the world, Asia, South America, Europe, beautiful locations, and I've always avoided England until recently. And seeing it now in this light, I just don't think there's anywhere that compares to it. It's just as beautiful as all of these places that I've been running around the planet filming. I mean, look at this cottage. Imagine living right here next to this stream. So peaceful. I wonder if my hay fever is going to kick in at any point soon. So if you're not familiar with the British countryside, there are certain paths that go through farmers' fields and there are different ways that you can get through and they set up the fence so you can get over the fence without the livestock getting out. And this is one of the ways. I forget the name of this thing actually. Kind of step over here. I'll show you some other methods for getting in the field as well. Maybe we'll come across a few more later in the video. I'm sure we will. Good afternoon. There we go, lambing season. Hello. could do a whole TV series about these lambs. <laughs> Look at this guy. I wonder if he if you sheared him if he had black if he's got black skin below his wool. Hello. Oh you got lots of flies, eh? Anyway, I'm starting to get a bit hungry and there's a pub up the road that I want to go check out. So let's go and get a pint and get some lunch. So sure enough, here's another way of getting in and out of a field without letting the livestock out. They call this a kissing gate. You're supposed to kiss your partner before you let them through. We don't have a partner, so I'm just going to go get a beer. Cricketers in. No. Hello. 